SO2 is off the chart. 70 ppm, Cap. I think I see movement. It's hard to tell. He probably passed out from the SO2 or maybe from the heat. Steam's hot, Cap. 230 degrees. So are we going to do something about this? So are we just going to keep playing hazmat bingo until we're definitely sure this guy's dead? Nice and slow. How you feel up there? Kind of like a rotisserie chicken. So no one else sees a problem with lowering her into the heated sulfur dioxide box of death without putting an SCBA on her? No? Okay. I want her car. Easy. Oh, God. Man, I wish there was a fluid we could pour on his chest that would make the heat go away. Maybe something that comes in bottles or fire trucks or literally 71% of the earth. We have to extract it here. Cap, that's impossible. We don't, it cooks his heart. But if we take it out, he'll bleed to death. Not if the heat from the rock cauterized everything around it. What if it didn't? If his entire chest cavity is being flash broiled by a flying hot piece of molten magma, the last thing I'm gonna care about is him bleeding a little bit. We don't have a choice. Look, damn thing's sinking into him. Seriously. Any kind of water. I mean, you guys carry around those CO2 canisters like they're free. Why don't you use one of those things? Clamp, now. It's melting. Get me another one. It's melting too. Screw it. Get the laryngoscope with the pediatric tube blade. I got it, got it. Go! <gasps> Hi, two quick questions. Number one, those McGill forcep blades melt at like 2,500 degrees. What kind of chest workout is this guy doing that his chest can withstand the heat of something that melts not one, but two sets of forceps? Also, where did you get that laryngoscope blade from? NASA? Try to catch me howling at the moon. It's all good. You son of a bitch.